Hey, welcome to the Lux channel. So, so far I have discussed uh, various uh, video episodes as well as uh, text documentation on uh, Toffee and as well as Toffee data center and stuff like that and much before that, you know, traffic squeezer as well. So, in various episodes uh, I have uh, discussed the overall uh, technology and also I have done uh, some uh, demo videos uh, whereas in this episode I thought, uh, uh, let me discuss about uh, an interesting technology like uh, LoRa and uh, as a part of LoRa, the LoRa van technology. So LoRa van is a part of LoRa and LoRa is all about long distance or long range uh, network connectivity and uh, it is quite interesting. It is an evolving technology and uh, day by day we can see some new hardware devices uh, entering into this new market, uh, uh, you know, uh, space so it is quite exciting and uh, LoRa is uh, quite well suited for applications like IoT and stuff like that so you can read extensive about uh, uh, LoRa and uh, <laughs> this is uh, uh, quite a fascinating technology and it has a huge potential in the future uh, one of the interesting use case uh, besides uh, the regular uh, you know uh, satellite networks or else uh, uh, marine and uh, in-flight uh, Wi-Fi and stuff like that, uh, you know, uh, long distance or long range van or the LoRa is an interesting uh, use case. Uh, so I thought let me uh, sort of cover uh, the same in which way a solution like uh, uh, Toffee, uh, you know, helps in this kind of a scenario. So, uh, LoRa, you can uh, go through about the same in uh, Wiki, you can see here LoRa LoRa van is a part of this uh, overall, uh, you know, long range uh, uh, communication technologies uh, or wireless based long range communication technologies. So, uh, however, uh, although it is a long range, uh, you have a sort of compromise uh, that uh, it provides a range, but at the same time, it may also minim minimize your uh, you know transfer speeds and uh, stuff like that so uh, you may not get uh, effective transfer speeds like um, uh, your typical uh, you know wireless router in uh, deployed in a, a home or office but on the other side if you see uh, LoRa provides that extensive long range it can be several uh, you know kilometers uh, uh, typically even tens and uh, you know tens or uh, uh, I can't say hundreds of kilometers, so it will be around 10 to 20 kilometers or more, more, more over at that range. And in case if you deploy it in a high mast, maybe you can extend it a bit more. So if you are very curious, uh, you can uh, go through that uh, standards. You have this uh, LoRa uh, Alliance. Uh, so uh, when it comes to LoRa, there are uh, two parts uh, you need to think about. One is that. Uh, uh, physical layer aspects uh, which usually uh, you can uh, go through in this uh, uh, you know uh, in this uh, standard and they provide a lot of uh, uh, documentation at the same time specs and other stuff so you can go through those aspects so one side is the physical layer aspects of the same the other side is the application layer aspect of the same so i'm more focused uh, in terms of application uh, layer aspect of the same and if you see the application layer aspect of the same uh, you can explore its uh, use cases one of the promising use cases is uh, using lora for any uh, iot based uh, you know infrastructure so it can be uh, some remote uh, solar farms wind farms especially something like a wind farm because you can have this wind uh, uh, turbines are dispersed overall in an area so it may have some amount of distance between one wind turbine to other wind turbine so you need that you know uh, uh, communication happening between these uh, uh, you know to monitor so that uh, you can monitor the various aspects of that uh, uh, device or uh, these uh, wind turbines so you need some sort of a technology like this so that everything is connected and at the same time you don't need to pull some high speed network to each wind turbine because essentially all you need is to monitor some few stats here and there so this is where uh, uh, you know LoRaWAN helps you can uh, go through a lot of things about the same I got a few uh, links uh, uh, which I can share in this uh, you know video description because as I do in all my videos, I do overall the research aspect and then at the same time where we can fit 
you know uh, toffee or where we can fit other things we can discuss later so overall the research aspect is the same so i can share all this uh, interesting uh, uh, you know documentation what i got about the loravan so as i said there are two parts of that uh, one is uh, your uh, you know the radio aspects and the physical layer aspects of the same uh, this is quite useful if you if you are a vendor uh, manufacturer of that uh, you know physical uh, device uh, you can uh, you know play around with various options you can extend its range in case if you want to provide even more extra long range or things like that and uh, uh, you know now power consumption parameters and various other things but on the other side when it comes to use case as i said if you go through a lora van maybe we can uh, search uh, something like this yeah as you can see it is mostly useful for iot kind of application because all these sensors are uh, dispersed in a wide area so you don't need to pull some uh, wire uh, and a cable you need to connect all these things so instead you can use something like this and you can even uh, sort of uh, uh, mix this with uh, you know mesh technology and uh, various you know things are possible as we know it is still in the initial stages as the technology progresses we can see various things coming out of the same so as a uh, in general if you uh, check the lora van it is very interesting and uh, i can also see some possibilities like uh, when you have this kind of thing uh, sometimes you may have some kind of an aggregation point where uh, uh, you know some devices a cluster of devices can be connected which is again connected in the back end to the lora van and from the lora van it is connected to the you know typical high speed internet uh, it can be a fi- fiber or copper whatever it is so all these possibilities are there so whenever you have some aggregation point this is the use case i uh, see where uh, toffee can fit uh, to optimize this sort of a network so if you have something like that if if there are some clusters of uh, aggregation points are situated you can deploy a toffee device from in that uh, location and then you can deploy a toffee device uh, uh, behind that uh, you know loravan uh, device so this way what happens is um, you can have some you know optimized tunnel as i said before the entire objective of loravan is to provide long distance uh, communication uh, capabilities it's not about how fast is the communication channel it's all about providing the range which is not possible with you know traditional law uh, approach and it is not uh, an option to use a satellite based networks in this case so if you go for satellite based networks everywhere of course it is possible so you can uh, provide network anywhere so that is why we say satellite based networks are uh, you know it's a network of networks <laughs> so that's what it is so in case if it is not a satellite based network you know it's a very promising technology because end of the day it can have potential if they uh, you know even improve the communication transfer speeds it has this potential uh, uh, to even replace uh, uh, you know satellite based communication as well i'm not saying everywhere throughout the world i'm saying uh, specific use cases uh, you can get away with uh, you know satellite um, based communication and lora can slowly you know uh, replace this you know traditional technologies which is quite uh, expensive and it is quite uh, you know copper some as such so uh, other than that as i said the drawback is mainly the transfer speed and this is where if you have some sort of an aggregation point separated by this loravan uh, nodes you can uh, you know optimize you can you can um, improve its performance so that with uh, you know uh, uh a technology like you know toffee data center you can optimize this uh, data uh, and then you can accelerate you can uh, send more data in case if that uh, lora van channel is offering around uh, uh 30 kbps uh, link uh, you know uh, channel or uh, something like uh, within uh, uh, 500 kbps or something like that it's a very good use case because you have uh, uh, you know Uh, this particular channel can be well optimized uh, especially you have some sort of an aggregation point like i said before because when you have such aggregation point uh, there may be some cluster of sensors can be connected to the same and then we have the opportunity this kind of sensors may send periodic data to and fro uh, to the you know entire uh, 
uh, end uh, base station or something like that so when they do the same uh, we have this opportunity to optimize this type of data and then we can send it uh, of course we encrypt as well and then we can send uh, through LoRaWAN um, channel so this uh, you know provides an option to you know extend its uh, uh, range as well as uh, improve its uh, transfer speeds as well which is not possible with uh, you know just plain simple approach of course you can do certain uh, ways to optimize your application layer data but at the same time there's a limit uh, what you can do end of the day so end of the day you have a technology when you uh, put something like Duffy data center I see a lot of possibilities are uh, possible and then uh, you can uh, uh, create a very optimized uh, you know tunnel uh, between these two ends so that's what i uh, felt whenever i gone through a technology like lora it is very promising very interesting it is just not like you know traditional uh, satellite network at all so uh, which is why even uh, uh, you have uh, 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 this is a sort of baseline technology even for uh, V2V applications as well. So some V2V in case if you are not aware V2V stands for vehicle to vehicle communication. So you can even use adapt it for the such use cases as well. Of course vehicle to vehicle it communicates like a peer to peer but still uh, they need to communicate to some sort of a base station or something which is not in the city it is in some sort of uh, rural suburbs and it has to connect to some kind of base station a remote base station and have to report its location uh, to track whatever it is in such use cases it is quite handy a technology like LoRaWAN but only drawback is uh, the limitation of transfer speed maybe down the lane it may improve but still you have certain uh, limits uh, uh, with the basic physics <laughs> so that's about it so uh, even it provides something like uh, you know uh, 100 uh, kbps or something like that or else 50 kbps we can make it around 30 percent faster i always mention this uh, in most uh, uh, cases uh, most of the times uh, uh, you can have an intermediate uh, uh, scenario with uh, toffee data center you may not have something like 80 percent performance boost and other stuff all the time sometimes it depends on the data sometimes it uh, if you average it out you have uh, uh, you know different applications communicating from one end to other end uh, when you average it out it will be around roughly um, you know 30 percent sometimes it will go beyond that if for a specific set of applications sometimes it will come down for a specific set of applications so when you uh, go through uh, LoRaWAN various uh, uh, deployment scenarios or topologies you can f uh, come across uh, such images it is quite interesting as well as you can go through uh, the various uh, hardware options available you can even uh, do some sort of a DIY at the same with uh, you know LoRaWAN capable uh, radio at the same time you can even buy uh, ready to use hardware as well so you can find various uh, images you can see here this is a typical example how a LoRaWAN is deployed and this is nothing different than what you can find it in the main uh, LoRaWAN Alliance uh, or LoRa Alliance uh, page as well so uh, this is how it is so what I have done is based on that uh, you can also imagine if this these are the end devices like uh, sensors uh, these are the IOT devices which they talk about so you can have these IOT devices directly they can communicate uh, through LoRa uh, in long distance uh, and uh, speed is not a factor but you need a communication option so that way all these devices can communicate to this LoRa gateway but you can have a scenario sometimes uh, something like this so in this situation what is happening is uh, you have all the sensors uh, uh, which of course can connect to this gateway whichever is uh, nearby but in case if you have uh, a cluster of sensors uh, like you know like this uh, and uh, what you can do is uh, you can even uh, uh, you know communicate to this LoRaWAN gateway through something like a LoRaWAN aggregator uh, so that this will have the LoRa capability and these sensors can connect it to this directly and then uh, they can uh, communicate it again depends on the use case uh, basis so in this 
situation may be these sensors are little bit away uh, from this lora gateway or else there is a sort of you know cluster of sensors uh, which uh, which are discrete uh, it is not something like entire packaged in a uh, you know autonomous car or something like that these are like a discrete uh, sensors and all these discrete sensors have to communicate through lora van and have to essentially communicate to the headquarters um, where you may have application uh, servers uh, database and stuff like that so so before that you can even have something like an intermediary whereas this is lora capable and this is uh, these may not be lora capable so in that case all uh, can communicate to this and this aggregator can uh, send the data in the back end uh, to you know the lora gateway and from there to internet and internet to that uh, cloud so so these kind of situations is where you can uh, Uh, deploy toffee and uh, it is an interesting use case uh, you can have a toffee somewhere in this aggregator or else somewhere in between and then you can have a, a toffee uh, somewhere in the headquarters or something like that so that uh, you can have some kind of optimized uh, tunnel so this uh, not only allows extended range but at the same time it also allows you to have a more uh, bandwidth than a typical lora van whatever you expect from so you can increase the range at the same time you can uh, A little bit get that extra bandwidth so that in case this sensors are uh, little bit bandwidth intensive you can uh, utilize uh, the channel in a better way with uh, toffee data center in that you know lora van uh, deployed networks or the infrastructure so it's an interesting use case uh, which is when i thought uh, let me discuss in a video episode so that in case if you have any ideas you can uh, communicate uh, to me uh, be in touch as usual via mail <laughs> so that in case if anything uh, you have to discuss or if you have any ideas uh, you can discuss uh, about the same so thanks a lot for watching this video stay tuned have a nice day bye bye